How's everybody doing today? This is Mike D, and you're watching DIY Reptile Guy coming at you live. Alrighty. So what I have in my hand right here that I'm holding, this is a Mexican alligator lizard. Um, it's otherwise known by the scientific name of uh, Abronia. So there are a whole classification of Abronia. This is the particular species that this is, is Abronia metstica. So it's not Abronia dermidia, which is like the common ones that you guys see a lot of. Um, I do have a couple Baronia dermidas, which are your common green ones. And you know what, to be honest with you, they're all the same exact animal. Uh, they're just different color patterations and they're from different locales, but they're all in the same region. So uh, where do these guys come from and as far as care, Oh yeah, by the way, this is kind of like a care video, kind of showing you guys some of the animals and stuff. This is a female in particular, by the way. Uh, I know that because of a regrown tail. My male does not have a regrown tail. I only have two of these guys at the current time. I would like to get more soon. But, um, so anyway, so let's, uh, let's kind of go over just some basic terror. So they're an arboreal species of, um lizard now the reason why they get the crocodile name i'm not 100 percent sure but i assume it's just from these scales and the patteration that you can kind of see on here and stuff i mean that kind of does look like a crocodile some of those different scales and stuff um so i don't know uh but anyway so they're an arboreal species of lizard uh, they can handle a lot lower temperatures, and a lot of that's due to the fact that they live in the cloud forest. So they live in the cloud forest in Mexico, going down into South America, I believe up a little bit past into Colombia. And um, so they live high up at high elevations, up way up in the mountains. They like lots of rainfall. Um, I usually spray them down twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. Um, do not, whatever you do, do not, do not, if you get one of these guys, do not keep them anywhere in the 90s. Don't, I recommend anywhere between 65 and up to 79, 80 degrees at the most. They like cooler temperatures. They do not do too well in the hotter heats. You'll notice if they start, if you start to put the higher heats in there, They'll start to crawl into where it's moist at. They'll start to burrow down. Um, they'll start to become real lethargic. It's not good. Uh, I notice that a lot of people, they don't really do their research when they're looking you know, at stuff like this. And don't get me wrong, this is not a common animal. I mean, this is not a cheap animal by any means. Uh, but it's well worth it and will definitely pay off. I love these guys personally. I mean, I... Oh, I should. I mean, I love everything that I work with, to be honest with you. But they're just such a neat little guy. They only get to be about six to seven inches in total length. Uh, their color patterations, you know, especially some of the red ones and the blue ones. I'm not too sure what those scientific names are. I've never even seen those for sale. One of these days, though, I'm really hoping that I actually get to see some of those for sale because I would love to pick a few of them up because they're just they're just absolutely incredible. And um, they're, they're one of the most neatest animals that I've ever personally worked with as far as their size goes, their colors, and just their detail on some of the different scale patterations. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but just some of the different detail, I mean, in the particular animal and stuff, it almost looks like it's not even real. It looks like it's fake to me. And that's what I find so incredible about them. Uh, to be honest with you, though, I think that, uh, hold on one second here. Oh, all right, let's get the camera back focused. Sorry about that, guys. I think that uh, they're not, I don't think they should be classified as a lizard, you know. And the only reason why I say that, and that granted, I'm not a scientist. I'm not somebody that classifies these guys. But to, to be honest with you, from observing factors... They remind me more of a skink than they do a lizard. Um, they don't remind me so much of a lizard. Now, as far as diet goes, um, I will recommend a common, I use a combination of four different uh, foods with this particular animal and all of the abronias that we have here. 
is uh, we use super worms, or no, I'm sorry, not super worms. We use uh, mealworms. Um, I use dubia roaches, crickets, and that, that's it. So actually three different, three different food, um, food items that we give these guys. Uh, now I do notice too, something that's really cool with these guys is you can actually house them with other animals. Um, in particular, uh, I house a lot of these guys with uh, tree frogs. Uh, now the tree frogs that we actually use that we house them with is um, gray tree frogs. They're just the common grays around here. Um, I love them. I mean, I, I think they're pretty neat looking. They remind me a lot of, you know, uh, well, well, we'll do a future video on that. All together, we'll do a future video on this. So anyway, so thanks for watching. This is an Abronia. Leave your comments down in the comment section below because I want to know what you guys think that we should name this girl right here. And um, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys all next time. This is Mike D and I'm out. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this video for more content uploaded like this every single day. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got a note here. Alrighty, so... We need to go over how you guys can win those tortoises. So, how you can win those tortoises is simply this. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys hit the bell notification button. Subscribe to the channel. And um, we'll be coming up soon with uh, how you're supposed to win them. To be honest with you, I'm not too sure what we're going to do here. Is I already gave away what we're doing with the big giant enclosure that we're working on. Um, and uh, so, yeah. And, oh, and by the way, keep on tuned because um, I'm talking right now to a company called Universal Rots. And we're going to be uh, getting something really cool from them for uh, the back of the enclosure and some other different logs and stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. This is Mike D and I'm out. Say bye. <laughs>